This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. The award-winning Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University. Build the future you at Hodges University. <laughs> okay, good morning, son. Southwest Florida. Welcome to another edition of Lee Pitts Live on this September the 4th, 2016. We have a fabulous show in store for you today. We're here. Where are we? We're at the American Legion Post 192. Yes. That American Legion located in the heart of Fort Myers and particularly in the heart of the Dunbar community on Martin Luther King Boulevard. One of my favorite places. I'm so thrilled that Lee Pitts Live will be coming to you from the American Legion post 192 for the next four weeks. So get on the phone and call somebody, text somebody, email somebody, tweet somebody, whatever you do, do something to somebody and let them know that Lee Pitts Live is at the American Legion. We have a fabulous array of guests lined up for you today. We'll get a chance to talk to Andrea Grady. She's the commander for the American Legion Post 192. Also get a chance to talk to the second vice commander, Tony King. Also back here in the studio after a long time being on my show, the great chief, former chief for the city of Cape Coral, Arnold Gibbs, get a chance to talk to him about an upcoming celebrity golf invitational tournament that's going to be taking place along with Tim Goodman, the program manager for Goodwill Industries. Then we'll talk to my good friend Cecil Carter. Cecil Carter, you know when he comes here, it's about the Omega Health Forum, one of the greatest events that takes place in our community. Cecil Carter is back. You get your pen and pad. You want to get some free health care put on by Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. All that's happening is happening right here on Lee Pitts Live, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, Southwest Florida. We're so thrilled to come to you from the American Legion Post 192 here in the heart of Dunbar. Let me have you pick up your cups and welcome you in here, Tony and Andrea. So thrilled to uh, Andrea. We're so thrilled that you, as a commander, the commander in chief, <laughs> has uh, welcomed Lee Pitts Live here at your fabulous place for the next four weeks. We welcome Lee Pitts Live to Robert H. L. Down the American Legion Post 192 for the next four weeks. Okay, we're thrilled to be here. And Tony, man, you mean you go back, got a chance to interview you some years ago, and you have a great passion about what's happening in our community, and particularly how the American Legion Post 192 fits into it. This is the first time I'm sure that a television show, I know that because I'm the only television show that would do this, come and sit in the American Legion for four weeks and five weeks and tape shows. So. Uh, this is uh, a big highlight in my career to have this opportunity. Uh, Andrea, what is an American Legion? Okay, the American Legion Post, um, we serve all veterans from all wars, their families and their widows. Um, we also um, implement legislature up to Congress when it's pertaining to veterans. Now, you were telling me that some of the services that you offer are housing, health care, food. Elaborate yes. on that. Locally, we do, um, we go around, we go and visit our shut-in veterans, regardless of where they're at. They can be in nursing homes or what have you. We make rounds to see them. Um, most are members of our own post, but if it's just a veteran, it doesn't stop us. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have um, back to school drives with, where we give school supplies to the local community and we have Christmas drives also distributed to the local community. And, that's, and a lot of people don't, a lot of people show up for it, but in the larger community, many people don't know all these great things happen here at the American Legion. Uh, uh, Tony, one of the things, uh, you are decorated, uh, you, Tony, you did four year, three years. Uh, uh, Andrea, you did 26 years in the military. Congratulations. Thank you. Tony, you, you're a decorated uh, military veteran. Tell us about some of the, like, Purple Heart and all that stuff, like Colin Powell, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Go, go, name <laughs> some of your things that you got. Come on. Talk to oh, me. Well, I have, uh, I have the three Vietnamese Commendation Award. I have uh, two Purple Hearts. I have a Brown Star, and I have two Commendation along with a host of other things. I have a, a letter from the president at the time, Richard Nixon of the United States of America for Outstanding Military Man of the Year Award, wherein I stopped a bank robbery. I went in the bank to cash a check and the guy wanted to take my little money. So, you know, 
I didn't make a big deal of it, but apparently it made a big deal. Wow. And it's great, man. Now, the American Legion here uh, has some historical significance to it. I mean, it's, you know, of course, the military doesn't have segregation, but this is in a predominantly black community. That's some history to this being here, right? Explain. Well, at the time and period when this, this post here was formed, it was a time when, 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 at that time, black people were suppressed. It was very hard for a black individual to, to accomplish the things that we're able to accomplish today freely. Every, every, everything that we got, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a fight for it. And the men that put this post together with the idea and the principles that was generated behind it was some of, probably some of the greatest leaders that Fort Myers probably had, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion. We had to, because at the time they put it together, they made it work. And if you check the history of this post over the years, and you go out in the community, you'll find people that ride the streets every day they pass here, every day going home to and from work. And they got their education, they got their break through this legion. You find people that probably wouldn't have had kids my age, your age, and, and, and right on up the line, that had kids, couldn't provide them Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner. And this post provided it for them. This post have did so much for the Dunbar area. Mm -hmm and the churches included. Because I have all the facts back there in the office. I see the council check from years back, and I, I read the history. I'm you not- gotta, If I recall, I've come here and emceed some banquets in the past where you gave out scholarships. Yep. Uh, you give out awards to children. You help yep. them in, 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 in getting on to college. So it's just a, a pillar in the community. Um, Audria, when you look at the future of this particular post and what you guys have been able to do to bring it to the great level that it is now. What, what, what are some things you'd like to see happen in the future? What should our community be aware of? Um, well, we're getting back to some of the old things Andrea, that we okay, once did. Um, like we have um, what we call Boys State, where we send young high school boys to um, experience, I guess you can say, the, um, the future of, of growing up to be a man. Mm -hmm. We send them to what we call Boys State, where they learn different things about the American Legion and also about um, growing up. And that is normally um, sent up, I think, in Indianapolis. But they go up and they, and they just learn, you know, things of the future. And um, we provide everything, scholarships. Um, we pay their way there. We um, pay for the hotels while they're there. And, and we can send two, two boys from each school. And we're looking at Dunbar High School. You know, because it is in our local area, That's and we great. try to keep everything local. Mm -hmm. You know, other other people can apply. It's not just limited to Dunbar, but we do look there first. And we have a phone number that's appearing on the screen from time to time if you want to get in touch with the American Legion for anything that may be related to what they do. Um, one of the misconceptions, well, it's not a misconception. We do have social events here. We also have night events that I come out on on Fridays and Saturday nights. But this is not a nightclub, right? Tony, explain. All right. The American Legion generated its funds through donation, through membership contribute, and we do special events to generate funds, which 99.9% of it goes back into the community. All our, all our staff works for free. Nobody, right. nobody received any type of compensation for what we do here. We have a red shirt dance on a Friday, which is the community is invited to come out and we strictly do old school music. Do you have to wear a red shirt? No, you don't necessarily okay. have to wear a shirt. <laughs> I, it's, I know it's, I came one Friday, I didn't have on a red shirt, but go ahead. It's just a theme that we use for 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 an event to raise to raise funds. Okay. And at the same time what we try to do, we try to raise the level of awareness a social level of awareness to the people that are coming into the post that you can bring different culture and different people together. They can dance, they can have a nice time, and they can go home and feel safe and comfortable. And That's one of the things I, I like about this Legion. It is very safe. There hasn't been an incident here in, what, 10, 15 years, has it? Nah, Something same. like that. Go ahead. We haven't, we haven't had it, but we had one, one incident in 
12 years okay. since I've been here. It was very minor. Nobody even knew it happened except for the two people that was involved. You've been but, proud about that too, Andrea. Very much speak, so. Speak to that. Yes, very much what so. What do you guys do to make it, because uh, this place is a, an example of how you can have a safe environment and come out and have a good time. What are some things you have in place? Should that be you or Tony talk about? Okay. I know you got cameras all over the place. Now. Yes, we do have cameras. We have security. Um, as people come to the door, they are checked. Um, we have a security system at the door that they have to walk through. You know, so we, we try to make it safe for everybody that comes out. And we got some real military people up in this mall. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh nice. good. Yes. Yes. Uh, talk about um, the, I know, I think Larry D has a karaoke night. I just kind of go, go down some of those things, uh, Andrea, and then, uh, Andrea, and then talk about how people can release the place for various events. Okay, um, well, we do have karaoke night on Wednesday nights, mm -hmm. um, and it's a good time. It's mm -hmm. fun. You know, you see the other side of a lot of people that you would normally see. And um, I would prefer to let Tony expound on the, um, the... Weddings and so the, on. You know, okay, like, like my commander said, we, we have karaoke on Wednesday, and we invite everybody to come out to it. On Monday night, we have footballs and uh, different card games and things of that nature. On, uh, th on Thursday night, we have football once again. On Friday night, we have... Uh, red shirt ball. On Saturday, it's normally old school, laid back and relaxed. Like we call it love of eating. Mm -hmm. People can come in and sit down and have a nice glass of various wines, uh, their favorite drink, and you know, with their companion and enjoy themselves. Right, and you have weddings? You can lease it we, for weddings? Go ahead. We, we make the building avail available for weddings, uh, funeral repasts, uh, baby showers, Kitty's birthday parties with the bounce house to works. We family also family reunions, anything. Family like reunions, clean uh, stuff. Class clean reunion. stuff. We we provide class reunion, right? We provide in-house service if they want it for decorating the place. Uh, we 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 are capable of setting this place up and changing it around three times in the course of a day, if we if we have that type of schedule. That's the type of schedule that we're working towards. Our cost is the lowest in the world, not just in Southwest Florida. Our cost for rental is the lowest in the world. If it's a family that's grieving and they need something, we're here for them for free. If it's someone that's over 70 and they're having a birthday party, we, we're not interested in their funds. We just want them to be recognized that they lived to see 70 years in their life okay. and things of that nature. Every, all they have to do is come in and talk with me and we can make any event they want to have within their budget. Final question, Audrea. Veterans, military people who are looking at this show right now and they didn't know you existed, they didn't know you here, you talk to them, tell them what they can, why they should be, come by and check you guys out. Um, we would love for, to have more membership. We want to increase our membership. And we know, we know that there are a lot of veterans here in Southwest Florida. And if, they don't, if they're not a member of an American Legion Post, come here. We would be glad to have them. We would love to, in, to increase our membership, get more people out, and get more people involved in doing what we're doing to work with the community and be, more, be out there more than we are, already are. Excellent. Well, we're proud to have you in the community, proud that, of the service that you provided to us for our freedoms here in America. And uh, keep up the good work. We're thrilled to be here for the next uh, four or five weeks, okay? Thank you. All Thank right. You. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they are usually interrupted by those like these fine people from the American Legion Post 192 who are doing it. We'll be right back.